Hey guys, Johan here, back with another edition of Unscripted. Uh, it, it's obviously been a while, a couple of weeks since I've done anything uh, in terms of video. And I've been busy myself working some 60 to 80 hours a week uh, for a couple of weeks now. Um, and whatever little time I had left, I actually uh, choose to spend with fans and family, family uh, that sort of thing. Um, but you know what, we're back and we're going to do something pretty special today. Um, I won't go into details about how busy I've been uh, over the last couple of weeks. Uh, but your stuff has been up. Um, one thing I haven't been too busy to do has been running my stupid mouth as always. So uh, what happened a couple of weeks ago is I had uh, a very good friend of mine, uh, a favorite Balkan chick of mine actually, um, who went to uh, Serbia for a few days for a wedding. And... Uh, well, being the lovable idiot that I am, I s sort of messaged her on her way saying, um, bring back booze. I mean, um, <laughs> have a safe trip. Um, and I went on sniggering to myself for a bit going like, ha ha ha, I made it funny. Um, and well, some time went by, this chick came back, she pulled me aside. She says, hey, I got something for you. And she pulls up this bottle here behind me, this beautiful bottle. And... I'm just standing there flabbergasted going, oh, really, I was kidding. <laughs> and she goes, I know, but there you go. Uh, <laughs> so what we got here is uh, some authentic Serbian rakia. Um, rakia is a uh, fruit brandy of sorts. It is the, well, it's basically it's the national drink of pretty much every nation in the Balkans. Um, it is not only a national drink, it's pretty much also the national sport of every nation on uh, down there. Um, they produce and consume this on a mind-boggling scale down there. Um, some of it um, through official channels, some of it through not-so-official channels. Um, I did a bit of reading on this, and, and from what I understand uh, from my friend Wiki Wikipedia, um, there are about 7.2 million inhabitants of Serbia. Um, out of those, there are like a host of official producers of, of, of this Rakia stuff. And there are supposedly about 10,000 private uh, producers of this stuff. Uh, and some 2,000 of those being officially registered, wherever the hell that means. I am willing to bid that my friend uh, Wikipedia is a bit wrong on this issue. I'll say there's probably a little more than 10,000 producers of this stuff down there. Um, but that is definitely another story. Um, as I said, this is authentic stuff. And by authentic, I pretty much mean moonshine by any other name. Uh, <laughs> no label, no nothing. Um, yeah, <laughs> let's keep it at that. Um, anyway, Rakia is a, a fruit brandy, as mentioned, um, made with a, well, made from various different kinds of fruit. This particular uh, instance is a plum brandy, which I believe goes by the name of Slivovich down there. Um, I'm not exactly sure um, about that. Probably somebody's uh, Serbian grandmother or brother-in-law, whatever, uncle, whatever, will correct me on the issue. But uh, I'll go ahead and assume that this is Slivovich anyway. It is uh, definitely made from plums. Um, very nice gesture here, as you can as you can see. This is not my first time tasting this. Um, things went a little overboard uh, when I first received this, and I thought, well, we should have pretty much everybody have a taste of it, uh, which probably wasn't the best of ideas after three bottles of champagne and other stuff. But um, so I will I will consider this the first official tasting um, for all intents and purposes. As I remember it, this was very very good. Um, we will see. Um, from what I hear, only about a couple of hundred uh, producers in Serbia do a really good job at making this stuff. Um, so we'll see. Um, first of all, we got like beautiful, almost like apple juice kind of color on this. Um, some of you may be wondering a bit about that, uh, thinking, well, isn't this supposed to be like a clear uh, white lightning kind of kind of liquid and, and yeah in most cases it is but in some cases uh usually with the better stuff they will add either herbs or uh flavorings of some kind to use like a uh, infusion or they will actually go ahead and age it in oak barrels or uh mulberry barrels are very traditional as well um 
judging by this stuff, um, the aromas of this are just amazing, by the way. Yeah, judging by the aromas of this, I wouldn't say that oak has been involved. Uh, judging by the color, I would say that more than just herbs have been involved. Uh, so this might be like actually a mulberry version. Um, we will probably never know because as you can tell, no label. Uh, <laughs> there is there's a beautiful aroma about this. Uh, it's clear cut like uh, plum sweetness to it and i don't mean like a, a stewed plum kind of thing that you get with some cognacs and this kind of thing it's like it's like fresh uh fresh sweet uh fruit or even like some 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 floral notes to it there's absolutely absolutely no alcohol whatsoever on the nose of this which is amazing considering uh that these things are usually bottled at 30 40 percent alcohol by volume uh some of them a lot more than that actually but there's no burn whatsoever there's no pinching of the notes there's no nothing and, and i can't wait to, i can't wait to taste this <laughs> holy shit this my friend This is, <laughs> the fact that this is made by probably by somebody's grandmother or uncle is fucking dumbfounding. This is amazing stuff. This is, you get, you get some alcohol in the taste you do, um, but you get first and foremost, there's this like this really natural, sweet, plummy, uh, full fruit kind of thing about it. Just really fresh, really, really amazing. Um, and there's sort of like, sort of like a rose water, uh, floral, uh, rose petal kind of thing to it as well. That I've, I've no idea if they've actually infused this with something. Um, if not, they've kind of, they've done, yeah, I'm at a loss for words here. I, I don't know what to say. Um, whoever made this, I will never know. Um, but my hat is off to you. This is uh, this is amazing, amazing stuff. Um, I've had the pleasure of. Uh, I'm going to sound like a raging alcoholic now, but I have had the pleasure of tasting a lot of different types of spirits uh, over the past year or so. Everything from local whiskey to really old Scottish whiskey to bourbon rum um i've even had some not so good versions of uh of rakia and i've had some good versions of rakia as well uh, this is hands down one of the best things i've tasted in a while um the fact that this is homemade is this is dumbfounding um I I, <laughs> I really do not know what to say. This this is amazing stuff, and I'm just I'm not just saying that because this lovely lady brought it home uh, for me. I am saying this because I am really absolutely I'm I'm blown back right now, um, off my feet. Um, this they should tour with this. Um, yeah, I, I could go on here not saying anything for, for quite a while, uh, just talking about how happy I am to taste this. I, I will not do that. Um, what I do want to say is, uh, like I just said, I've been I've been uh, blessed to taste a lot of things uh, over the last couple of years. Uh, obviously, being a food blogger, being someone someone with a uh, bit of knowledge on his field and, and a bit of an online personality, you do get... Uh, it's no secret that you do get some perks, or at least it should be a secret that you do get some perks. Uh, there are a lot of people who want to give you things who want to, who want you to taste things, who want you to write about things. Um, and I'm, I'm absolutely, I, I'm so blessed that they would do this and I'm so happy that it happens. Uh, some of the things I, I will accept, uh, some I will not. Um, if it works within the blog, within what I do, I would, I will have a same, I will take a sample off it, but I will never actually, uh, I've, I've turned down offers of doing like sponsor posts or paid posts and things like that because I, I don't think it's it's for me to do these sort of things. There are people who do that better. Um, I want to I wanna give my honest opinion on things and um, 
basically I don't want my money to be an issue here. If somebody wants to give me something, I will accept it if I find it within the scope of what I'm doing. Um, and I've been blessed with some things here. Um, I have done some reviews over the years for, for companies and whatnot. Uh, and, and I appreciate the hell out of that. Um, but that's one thing. I mean, company doing giving me something for obvious uh, financial gains or whatever. Uh, this, on the other hand, things like this, um, private persons, friends, whatever, uh, giving me things like for my buddy Ulrich, who a while ago gave me this... Uh, can of legendary duff beer that i don't think i'll ever want to drink uh <laughs> over my friend shelly who sent me uh one of her uh well the cd of one of her favorite or actually her favorite new zealand um heavy metal band uh all the way from new zealand um guys by the way if you're into like rockabilly uh groove sludge uh, hard rock slash metal uh give these guys devil skin a listen uh they're pretty cool. It's pretty groovy. Uh, I got a chick lead singer who's not only kind of hot, but just having, uh, well, the meanest ground growl as well. Uh, fun stuff. And anyway, to uh, to the lovely, lovely Ana who gave me this um, all the way from Serbia, brought it back home to me. I honestly, guys, I appreciate the hell out of it. Uh, you have you. Do not have to do this. I know I've been joking about it for the last couple of videos that people should send, send me things. The fact that you do this, it, it, it means the world to me. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm so blessed to have people who do this. Um, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Um, Anna, sweetheart, thank you so much for bringing this home for me. This uh, thing here is a... On the Grand Johan scale of things, it's a uh, not... No, you know, it's not a 9 out of 10. I mean, throw in the thought behind it, uh, the history, everything. This is a 10 out of 10 uh, tipple on the Johan scale of awesomeness. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for keeping up with my rants. I, I really do want to spend some time here giving some shout out to the people who've done some amazing things for me. Thank you so much. Uh, if you if you like this, uh, again, throw us a like, share these things. Um, keep watching and we'll have something fun coming up in the future. Thanks for watching, guys.